day of harvest is a festival for Koreans. When the table is filled with foods created by nature and time, the finishing touch was always makgeolli or rice wine. Makgeolli and its accompanying side dishes resemble the spirit of Koreans. There's an interesting party here every Friday night. Foreigners and Koreans mingle together like longtime friends. The drink of choice? Not wine, not beer, but makgeolli. Oh, 외국 분들이 이제 그 전주에 오셔거나 아니면 서울 분들 이제 젊은 친구들이 저희 저녁관에 왔을 때 막걸리를 많이 찾으세요. 막걸리 골목 어디예요? 어디로 가요? 막 이렇게 묻다 보니까 아 저희 막걸리 사 와서 먹어도 돼요. 이런 그렇게 되면서 또 하나 둘씩 모이다 보니까 아 그러면 우리가 해줄게요. 이렇게 된 거예요. 그래서 자연스럽게 본인 본인들이 삼삼오오 사 와가지고 저희 라운지에서 먹다 보니 이런 문화가 형성이 된것 같아요. What is it about Makgeolli that brings all these people together? Delicious. I really like it. <laughs> so they're both very delicious. Uh, the yellow one is just a little bit nicer, but I will drink anything. Yes. I'm from America, and I can't think of anything similar to makgeolli, so it's exciting that it's a new flavor, so I like to drink it often. It's delicious, and with just 6% alcohol, it's the perfect drink when people just want to talk and get to know each other. Makgeolli is never about getting drunk. In Korea, autumn is the season of harvest and abundance. This is when farmers roll up their sleeves to reap the rice they've been growing that year. Koreans have their own way of easing the labor of harvest. In autumn, the villagers come together to help out on each other's farms. When it's time for a break, the village women prepare a delicious snack known as secham. It's made up of light foods that won't get in the way of the harvest. Makgeolli is always included here. It used to be called Nongju, or farmer's drink. Makgeolli <laughs> 또 술을 마시면은 노동의 어떤 그 어려움, 힘든 것을 잊게도 만든다는 것이죠. 그래서 새참으로 사람들이 많이 먹었던 것이 한때 그 한자로 표기되는 농주라고 부르는 그 막걸리였죠. 막걸리는 그만큼 농사일하고 아주 밀접한 관계가 있던 그런 술이었죠. 말? 너는 피주 하나 못 먹었네. Makgeolli was the original beverage made with rice. Since long ago, Korean agriculture has focused on rice cultivation.
Koreans would make wine from freshly harvested rice and offer it to the gods. On the farms, makgeolli was the most common alcoholic beverage. Korean drinking culture developed rapidly during the Joseon dynasty. From the late 14th century to the early 20th century, every farming household would make their own makgeolli. The practice prevails to this day in Gangwon-do province. Makgeolli can be made year-round, but the ones made with freshly harvested rice in autumn taste the best. Gangwon-do province is home to many pine trees. Each region would flavor its makgeolli with local ingredients. Makgeolli is simple to make. You just need rice, water and nuruk or fermentation starter. The nuruk is mixed with cooled, hard-boiled rice. Next, water is poured into the mixture. Good water is crucial to making good drink. The blend of rice, nuruk and water is stored in a warm place for four days to get perfectly aged makgeolli. After the wait, the drink is finely strained. The pine needles give off a light aroma. The name makgeolli can mean carelessly strained alcohol or freshly strained alcohol. How does it taste? <laughs> oh, it's delicious. It's delicious. It's delicious. It's delicious. We ate a lot of food. So, in the past, we had to worry about the food at the time. We had to worry about the food. 그래서 평상시에 술을 그렇게 자주 담아서 어, 드시진 못했어요. 그러다가 가을이 되어서 이제 곡식을 추수할 때 그때 이제 그 햅쌀을 가지고 술을 빚어서 나누고 추수의 기쁨을 맛보았어요. Makgeolli is symbolic of the spirit of ordinary Koreans like farmers. In the travel log Koryo Dokyong written by a Chinese man it says that the Koryo people liked to drink, and common folks drank bland and dark-coloured alcohol. This was probably makgeolli. Clear, strong spirits were exclusively for the elite. Ordinary Koreans didn't have a lot, not even to drink. On busy farms, makgeolli was the perfect drink of choice because of its low alcohol volume and starchy filling texture. Makgeolli was excellent for filling empty stomachs and lifting spirits. What's more, it has been scientifically proven to be a great source of nutrition.
The secret to Makgeolli's nutrition is in its nuruk. Nuruk is made with grains like glutinous rice, barley and wheat. The grains are made into a dough and mature to create beneficial fungi. The flavour and aroma of makgeolli depends on the nuruk. Unlike Western drinks that use malt, makgeolli is made with living bacteria cultures. Fermentation adds more nutritious value. Freshly strained, undiluted makgeolli is known to contain hundreds to even 100 million lactic acid bacteria per milliliter. Magali also contains dietary fiber, vitamins B and C, minerals and various amino acids. Its simple, unassuming taste is filled with Korean spirit and wisdom, helping ordinary people wash down the sorrows and hardships of their daily labor. This is why Magali reflects the Korean spirit. Just as rice goes well with certain foods, makgeolli pairs well with certain dishes. Koreans' favorite pairing is buchimgye, or pancake, that can be made with common greens. On rainy days, Koreans seek out makgeolli and buchimgye. Of course, makgeolli pairings show some variation across the nation. Makgeolli는 이렇게 팔도가 고루 이렇게 즐겨 하셨어요. 근데 안주는 좀 각각 달랐거든요. 이유는 그각 지역에서 나오는 특산물이 다 달랐기 때문에 안주가 다 달랐던 것입니다. In the Gyeongsangdo provinces near the sea, it's yompo tang made with clams and octopus. Fresh, chewy octopus meets the clean taste of clam soup. The flavors are brought out with spicy peppers. The light yompo tang balances out the heavy makgeolli. In mountainous Gangwondo province, acorn jelly is mixed with seasoned vegetables. In Jollado provinces, known for its strong flavors, Hong Tak's hamab, a combination of fermented skate, boiled pork, and aged kimchi. In Seoul and Gyeonggi-do, Dubusan, made with tofu, was inspired by the royal court. In Chungcheong-do provinces, sweet pumpkin pancakes were a visual and flavorful treat.
What does Mughali look like today? Each night in the historic city of Jeonju, one particular street comes alive with more than 30 Mughali stores. They opened here one by one during the financial crash of 1997, comforting Koreans with little money to spend. An order of Mughali comes with a table filled with dishes from all over Korea. <laughs> Mughali is a dish in and of itself. <laughs> Together with side dishes, it is enough to make up a hearty meal. <laughs> From Samgyetang to steamed kimchi and boiled pork, there are more than 20 dishes per table. There is no better comfort for Koreans who see generosity as a virtue. There are over a thousand kinds of makgeolli, varying according to regional culture, environment and brewing methods. In Jeonju, there is an interesting type served with meals. Containing nearly no alcohol and enjoyed by men and women alike, it is called moju, meaning drink made by a mother. In the 17th century, Queen Immok was ousted from her throne and her mother was exiled to Jeju. She was supported by a lady-in-waiting who sold makgeolli to make ends meet. This was the original moju. In Jeonju, mothers made moju for their sons who had a hangover. Makgeolli is boiled with ginger, brown sugar and medicinal herbs. Boiling removes most of the alcohol while leaving the nutrients intact. 전주 바로 인근에 용진과 봉동이라는 그 고을이 있어요. 여기가 우리나라 대표적인 생강 주산지예요. 생강. 이게 전주 인근에서 많이 났단 말이죠. 근데 생강은 잘 아시는 것처럼 소화를 돕고 또 해독 작용을 하는 것으로 알려져 있거든요. Moju goes well with the most common hangover dish in Jeonju, bean sprout soup and rice. The asparaginic acid in bean sprouts effectively removes oxides produced by alcohol. Sprout soup and rice and moju make for a great hangover cure. <laughs> Times and preferences may have changed, but makgeolli is still the most familiar drink for Koreans. Apgujongdong in Seoul is where new trends are born.
This bar serves 180 traditional Korean drinks. 40 of them are makgeolli. They're all made with rice, but have different colors, flavors, and aromas. If you can't choose, the Makgeolli Sommelier will help. The Sommelier provides detailed information of each drink. The recommendations take into consideration the occasion, the food, and individual personalities. A little bitter and sweet and milky and stuck in your tongue. So I, I enjoy Makuli. I have an allergy that makes me not able to drink uh, beer because it's a, there, it contains wheat. Therefore, Makuli is a really great substitute for, for having a good drink instead of beer. It's a big mistake to think there's only one type of Makuli. The choices are endless. 기호에 맞춰서 단걸 좋아하신다라고 하시면은 뭐 그런 카테고리들이 있거든요. 뭐 찹쌀을 이용해서 빚은 술이라든지 단맛이 좀 이렇게 두드러지는 술을 추천을 해드리고요. 그다음에 신맛은 또 신맛이 나는 술들이 있어요. 여기 기호에 맞춰서 추천을 해드리고 있어요. The five major categories of makgeolli flavors are sour, sweet, bitter, savory, and clean. But there's much more than those five. The diversity of flavors makes it possible to pair makgeolli with any food. Here, ingredients from all over Korea are prepared using traditional methods. Many Koreans now enjoy eating Western cuisine, but one thing that stayed the same? Makgeolli tastes best with foods grown and made in Korea. Soft pork cooked over low heat with tangy aged kimchi. Colorful squid ink pancakes made with fresh squid from Korean waters. Each makgeolli table is set with the nature, culture and life of Korea. Makgeolli, born from the hard labor of farmers in the summer, comforts farmers in autumn. On the day of harvest, a bowl of makgeolli made with fresh rice is enough to wash away all fatigue. <laughs> Filled with abundance and vitality, makgeolli and the accompanying side dishes are the long-lived, beloved food of the day.